Okay, so welcome to Sunny Study Hall. I'm Jacqueline, and as I tell y'all, this isn't really a training session, but from time to time, some students come along on board here, and they're a little confused. So particularly today, Gloria is wanting to know how to use the master PBS offer key that we put together back in um, July. So what this is, is, and just like I was explaining a little bit earlier, guys, is this key is as good as today, all right? Because product changes. It comes in the market, it goes out of the market. But if you will make yourself a copy of this master PBS offer link map, then you can use it for yourself to keep up with what's in your PBS. Does that make sense? Nod your head if it does. Okay. So the way that this is set up is it gives you um, a couple of things. It gives you whether it is a post or an offer page. And then it explains the links that are going to be in these offer pages and where you need to get the links. All right. So for instance, if you're just starting out, your instructor instructed you to modify your two homepage posts. That's what these two posts are. And then if you will read across, it tells you exactly what you need to be looking for on that page. So it says, check internal links on this page, add your specific inbound uh, internal links in place of Rory's. Guys, when you get your system, a lot of the pages have your internal links in them. However, a lot of the pages don't. So it's your responsibility to check your links and make sure your links are in there so that you get credit and Rory does it. Many times the internal links are already in your pages. It's the external merchant links that you're going to have to change out when you get to your offer page. Okay. So you kind of glance over and you read what you're looking for, okay? And then you must have one outbound link on that page or you're going to get an error. Mrs. Yost is going to tell you you don't have an outbound link, so you need to add one. Many of us add our Facebook link in, that, in this particular post so that we have one outbound link, all right? Um, we tell you what the keyword is for that page and whether you can change the keyword or whether you need to leave it alone. So for this particular page, we, you know, it's just a post. You're not really going to be trying to do SEO on this. So we tell you, you can leave it as new stuff as your, as your keyword and write around that, or you can change it to a new one that is up to you. Same thing with your slug. We tell you what your slug is and if you can change it or not. Then the very last thing we tell you, you modify the, the post to be your own. You make sure Mrs. Yost is green and green and you make sure that your meta tag is done. That's how you read and utilize this key. It goes page by page by page and explains to you what you are doing in each page. So let's take, um, uh, for instance, the wine page, okay? Uh, well, no, let's just go from the top. That might be easier. When you look in your site, it's your affiliate disclosures is the very first thing on your menu after your home page. You do not touch that, leave it alone. That is a legal document to let the, uh, the um, people like Google know that you are compliant to guidelines. So you just leave it alone. Don't even, don't even go in it. The next thing, your category is arts and entertainment. Under arts and entertainment, I tell you what the latest and greatest of what I had under arts and entertainment was get paid to chat. Get paid the game. There is was a karaoke page in there. I'm telling you that um, it's not there anymore. Okay. Then it has tipping circle. 
if you get if you're going through this key and you don't have one of these pages then go to rory's site and copy it in here and modify it if you have the page modify it and do exactly what i'm telling you to do when you get to the um when you get to the the get paid to chat i'm telling you this is a tipping circle um affiliate page i'm telling you where to go get your link to sign up you're gonna you're going to use your instructor's link but after you sign up you will be able to have your own links to put in this page miss gloria would you unmute please and tell me if i'm making sense to you yes i am following you okay so that's how the page that's how this key works. It specifically tells you what you are looking for and what to do with it. When you get to the key phrase for pay for chat, I'm telling you, do not change it. You need to leave it alone. This is a driver page. We want all the keywords to be paid for chat and we want the slugs to be paid for chat. However, you still have to modify the page. You have to get your links and put them in the page. Does that make sense, Mrs. Gloria? I think you went back on mute, sister. Yes, actually, I uh, have modified that page, but now I'm thinking I might need to go back in it to make sure that I didn't change any of the. Um, Correct. And that's where a lot of people are getting tripped up. They're changing the category names and they are changing the uh, keywords for our driver pages. The, this site is set up for a reason. If we say that you, if it's in yellow and I say it's your option, you can change it, by all means change it. But if it is in green, you need to leave it alone and you need to just modify the page and add your links. And then once you, I would add one step further for you guys that are trying so that you have everything in one spot. You can actually come and add yourself a column here and put a modification date. So as you modify the page, you could simply have, um, this is when you copy it to your own. So when you modify a page, you can put the date that you modified it. You know you're done with that page. You've done everything. You've changed your links. You've modified it. And guess what? When you advertise it, you can even put here, page advertise. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we mean when we tell you to get organized, because then at a glance, you know, you feel like you are in control of your PDFs. You know what pages you have modified, you know what dates you have advertised them, and then you're done. But so many people try to just jump off and start getting in that PDF and switching things around and changing things and they're not following Rory's training. And then you get frustrated because you're like, well, I don't know what I've done and what I haven't done. Get yourself organized. That is the best thing. And this is a wonderful tool to use to do just that. Okay. Okay. Are there yeah. any other questions about this key? Anybody, anybody else? I, I don't right now. I want to get to work and okay. try to understand. Now, um, on my my main uh, page where where I have the list on the left side of of my different pages. Correct. Okay. Well, I haven't added anything to that. Um, so a lot of stuff like artists and folk. Um, for one, I do know that we're not doing that anymore. But it might be more pages that this page. I, we're not doing anymore. But I don't, I don't know which ones there are. All right here, you go, darling, right there, the very bottom. Oh, 
It's all there for you. We went through back in July and I tell you what's obsolete and what to take out. Okay, so I can draft them or delete them. I tell you whether to draft them, I tell you whether to delete them right there. Okay, okay. thank you. Start there. There you go. And that was, I, I've been in, in limbo for a while now, and I still be going to the, you know, the Zoom meetings during the week mo most of the time. And I just, you know, kind of listen, but I, this, I was lost. Yeah, I think this will help you. And then if you get yeah. to the page and you don't really understand, you know, ask Stacy. Just say, Stacy, I'm working off of the key. I'm at such and such a page, and I'm not quite understanding. Can you help me? But you will at least know everything that you have modified and everything that you have advertised right and then you mm -hmm. gotta keep yourself on track of what you're doing okay and also to be honest with you i'm very intimidated by v marketing and maybe that's because i don't understand what i wasn't understanding what all that I need is for our beat market. Okay, well, let's finish. Let me let me close out this chat um, or this uh, recording for the master PBS links because I don't want to talk about another section. So if y'all don't have questions, guys, this is how you use the key. You just simply, it follows the category pages for each page that we have. It explains to you what you're looking for. Again, if you get in here and you don't have a page, you simply go put the page in and then you modify it and you do exactly what the key is telling you to do. And I think that will help you get uh, more confident that you understand what is in your PBS. So I'm going to stop the recording and let y'all get to work on your pages. Thank you.